The way I see it, you either choose a life of abundant strength and energy, or you're living in the gap, far beneath the quality of life you could be enjoying. Questions about whether you're living in the gap? Take this quick little survey and count and see how many of these you say yes to. A gradual weight gain, especially in those problem areas, around the waistline or in the hips. A noticeable drop in energy levels after lunch and in afternoons. Frequent cravings for snacks, sweets, or junk food. A disappointing or declining sex life, which is no fun at all. A reliance on coffee to get you going and more to keep you going. Tired earlier in the evenings, yet unable to sleep. That feeling that you've aged three years in the last 17 months. If any of these symptoms sound familiar, not alone. Millions of Americans have come to accept this steep decline and needless suffering it causes as a normal curve of life, as a reasonable life. To many, it's just the price of aging. We give it no more thought than we do the setting sun each day. This is the graph out of chapter two, describing the S curve. Instead of accepting the normal curve of life, this arcing speed bump paradigm, and gradually going downhill, this is your opportunity to step up and choose a higher path, to stop living in the gap, stop being less than you can be. No matter where you are along the curve of life, you have the power to decide how you're going to live the day and for the rest of your life. Choose a higher trajectory of life and start growing younger, stronger, leaner every day forward. 